Hey guys, Stuart here, and we're back on the Tunnel 12 with a trophy push to Legend League. Right now, I'm at 3,900 trophies inside of Champions 1, and the goal for today is to make it up to 4,100 trophies inside of Titans 3. And to get to that goal, we're going to be using one of the Dragon Festival Event Troops, with today being the Azure Dragon in the Queen Charge Azure Dragon Attack Strategy. We're going to be attacking mainly Tunnel 12 today because I try to sell it against Tunnel 13s, and it isn't very consistent, so we're going to be attacking Tunnel 12s to make it up to Titan 3. I also forgot to mention, but these are the Hero equipment that I'll be using for each of the heroes, but if you have the Frozen Arrow, I'd swap it out with the Archer Puppet, since the Queen Charges will be a lot easier with the Frozen Arrow. I said we only attacked Tunnel 12, but we found this Tunnel 13 worth 49 trophies, so I gotta attack it. We're gonna start off at the very top of the base. We'll drop the Queen Charge up at the top here with a couple of goblins on both sides, and then we'll wall break in down here, as it looks like she is gonna go down to the left side here. We'll get ready with their Rage if she gets below half health, and then we'll continue working over towards the Eagle Artillery. We only have three of the Azure Dragons, so we have to use them wisely and make a decent funnel for them to move into the middle of the base. We'll drop a Rage and the next Wall Breaker to allow for us to move in towards the Eagle Artillery. Doing pretty good so far. Hopefully she goes for the Air Sweeper after this. We're gonna drop a couple of Goblins, or I guess the last one up here, to guide the Queen back in towards the uh, eagle with. I think she will after taking down this Tesla. Actually, no, she'll go for that spell factory. I kind of forgot about that there. We'll talk about Baby Dragon down here. And I guess we'll just kind of work towards the left side of the base and with our uh, Azure Dragon. So we'll drop the King over here with the Baby Dragon to guide him into this compartment. So hopefully take down the Scuttershot. Uh, the Queen is taking a little bit of damage, so we'll drop a Rage for her and a Head on her for the enemy Royal Champion and use the King's ability over here to head into this compartment. A decent funnel so far. The Queen took down the Eagle, and we're going to head into the next compartment where the uh, next, or the other, uh, what's it called, the Scuttershot is over there. So we can head up to the top of the base here. And hopefully the king takes down that scatter shot, and he does very good. So we'll drop a dragon over here, and the other two up top. Get another rage for the queen, and then we'll drop the balloons, the warden, and use the battle blimp, and we'll use the ability as the blimp leaves the circle of the warden. We'll use it there, and then drop a poison on the queen. We'll drop a rage on the town hall, and then we'll freeze the multi in front of tower. So we take the town hall down for that second star. A minute left in the raid. We're going to use a freeze on the heroes and the uh, Inferno Tower over there. Queen's still working through over on the left, uh, the right side. So we'll wall break her out of the compartment. We'll drop a freeze on the air defense and the multi. And hopefully we can get this three star. We have 40 seconds left. We're going to get some cleanup going towards the bottom left on that storage that was a little bit... Uh, they were in range there. 30 seconds left. We're going to have to use the Queen's ability. It's getting pretty close. So we'll see if we can get this three star on this Town Hall 13. We have one freeze left. I think I will use it on this Archer Tower to allow for our Warden to keep up with this Rage. Uh, 20 seconds left. We don't think we are going to have enough time to get this three star. There is a building on the other side here. And yeah, so we'll end off this Raid at just over 90% on this Town Hall 13. A good attack against a town, a higher Town Hall than us will end off at 98%. So a decent attack to start off the day would have been good if we got that three star, but 33 trophies to start off the day. And on to the next attack, we have a Town Hall 12 worth 40 trophies, getting some decent offers today. We'll drop the queen down here with our queen charge, then drop a goblin over here on the left and one on the right. And then we'll wall break into this compartment to allow for the queen to head in towards that eagle. It is uh, in range for the queen to take out. So she will take out the uh, wizard tower and then head in towards the mortar here. Hopefully, wish we drop a baby dragon on that. That was a little bit bad there. We'll wall break her in again, it looks like. Drop another goblin just to guarantee that she heads back in to this compartment here. She's gonna head up towards the wizard tower. We need that collector on the right to go down before she goes over to the left again. We'll drop a wall break one more time and she heads back in to the left. So it is good. We've got the queen back into the base. Get everybody with a head on her if we do need it for the enemy queen, which I will drop it right about now to head over towards 
the enemy queen to take her down. She'll head back over to the eagle, and the eagle is now going down. Very good. The baby dragon on the right took out the last bit of that compartment. So we can head over to this side here and drop the king to head into this compartment to make the funnel for our uh, dragons to head right up the top of the base. We'll get another rage going for our queen. And the king, it looks like he is going around the outside, which is fine. It looks like he goes back in actually. Okay, we've got some weird pathing with our heroes. We use the king's ability to go through this compartment and then we'll get ready with our dragons working down here to head all the way to the town hall. We'll get ready with our warden ability as we get out of range from the blimp from our warden. I don't think we actually need it. Actually, we'll drop it right now as the uh, sweeper pushes the blimp back. We'll drop this here with a freeze on top of the um, town hall and the inferno tower as we take that town hall down for that second star. We're going to use the poison for all these air skeletons, freezing the multi and we'll drop your rage at the top here as well. We have that last one there. Queen with her ability still to use. We'll drop a freeze on the Inferno here. We have our dragons, all of them still up still. And we have 50 seconds left in the raid. It looks like it will be a three star. We'll drop the archer at the top for the last bit of cleanup on this base and use the queen's ability. A bit of a sloppy start on this attack with the queen charge, but we ended up with our sec or first three star. It would have been a second one with that tunnel 13 on that first one, but still a decent attack once again. Uh, we have a builder hut all the way at the bottom here. Hopefully we can make it in time. Actually, now that I say that, maybe we actually won't get this three star on this Town Hall 12. The Warden, we have 20 seconds left. He will get to make it to that builder hut in time. He will probably one shot it to be honest. Yeah, there we go. Get that last building down for the three star for a plus 40 for the second attack of the day. Three great offers back to back to back. We have another, another Town Hall 12 worth 48 trophies. I'm gonna go from the left side going for that eagle once again so we'll drop our queen charge over here away from the air defense and then we don't really need to do a much funneling for the queen she'll head in on her own it doesn't really matter we want her to go up towards the top and she will anyways after taking down this gold storage she should head in towards the gold storage at the top and there she goes there to go up towards that gold storage tesla activate so we'll take that down pretty easily and then we'll make our way over towards this tesla and we'll wall break in as she gets a little bit closer that archer tower is doing a bit of damage but she'll get back up to full and i guess we can drop a baby dragon up here with a wall break into this compartment now she is still below half health so we'll drop our rage for her as she gets to uh, the expo here. And I guess we'll drop a couple of goblins down here to path her back up towards the top after taking down a couple of these buildings here. We'll save our rage for now actually because that Tesla pops up and gets her pretty low. We want to keep that ability alive and active. Hopefully she actually gets out of range immediately there. And we need a baby dragon to lure the queen back up to the top to take down this can here in time. Hopefully we can. There we go. And she swaps over to that wall. So I guess she's going for the town hall instead. So we could actually go for the eagle with our dragon. So we'll drop a rage right about now. She's about to break the wall. And then she'll take down the inferno pretty easily on her own. We don't need a freeze for that. And we'll see where she goes afterwards here. We have a minute and a half left in the array. We should probably just start with our push into the base at the top here so we'll drop our dragons the balloon the warden and also we'll drop the freeze on this air defense here we'll drop the blimp to go for the town hall and i might actually drop it on the eagle instead actually the queen's going outside so we'll wait for the blimp to make it to the town hall here and we have that uh seeking air mine going off we'll drop it here we will freeze the town hall as we take it down for that second star and we'll use the warn ability. I actually didn't use the warn ability before. So we'll drop the king's ability and also the warn ability as the eagle shots come down onto the uh, dragons here. Queen's still working towards the bottom. We can wall break the king out. We have 40 seconds left in the raid. This is going actually pretty bad so far. We'll drop the uh, king's ability over here and the archers at the top of the base. We need the dragons to come back down towards the bottom and we can get this three star on this town hall 12. They are coming down now. We'll drop the freeze on here. We'll get a head on her ready for uh, that will freeze the uh, inferno. Drop that there with the poison. 
15 seconds left will drop the Queen's ability as well. So we can hopefully get this three star. 10 seconds left. I think we may not have enough time. It will be very close here with five seconds left to take down the final building to get the three star on this Town Hall 12. A three star is a three star. Doesn't matter how sloppy it is, but a plus 48 for that one there to get us up to 4,130 trophies inside of Titans 3. And we'll get the animation here as we make it up to Titan League. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more Dragon Festival event content. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.